After being promoted from Class D to Class C, Ayano Koji and his classmates head to the mixed training camp. While on their way to the training camp, their teacher informs them about the details of the mixed training camp. Well, the mixed training camp is a special exam where small groups will be formed, and each group will include students from different classes and grades. Each group will be graded on the group's performance. As soon as they reach their destination, Miyabi Nagamo, who is a second-year student and the current student council president, challenges Manabu. Initially hesitant, Manabu accepts the challenge. Meanwhile, Ayano Koji witnesses the whole incident. After that, we learn that Ayano Koji has been placed into Group 6. Group 6 includes Hashimoto, Koenji, some of Ryuin's underlings, etc. After a while, Horikita tries to convince Kushida to work together and help Class C, but she refuses. Later, Ayano Koji encounters Sakayanagi. Sakayanagi implies that she will crush Class B first, and then she will destroy Ayano Koji. She also informs Ayano Koji that she is going after Honami Ichinose, who is the class representative of Class B. Afterward, Ayano Koji meets with Kei and tells her to keep an eye on some specific individuals. Then, Ayano Koji meets Manabu. Manabu reveals that Nagumo has taken over the second year. Thus, Manabu implies that he wants Ayano Koji to deal with Nagumo. Manabu then introduces the informant, Kiriyama, who is the student council vice president. Kiriyama immediately implies that he doubts Ayano Koji's abilities. During their exercise, Koenji reaches the top of the mountain. Meanwhile, Yukimura suffers from a sore leg. Therefore, Ryuen's underlings leave him behind. Left with no other choice, Hashimoto decides to assist Yukimura. At the same time, Ayano Koji suggests that he will go and find Koenji. When Ayano Koji encounters Koenji, he discovers that Koenji has hunted a wild boar. Ayano Koji attempts to persuade Koenji to help their group. However, Koenji indicates that he will decide whether or not to assist the group. Just as he is about to leave, Ayano Koji grabs Koenji's hand. Koenji immediately realizes that Ayano Koji was the one who destroyed Ruin and made him quiet. Although Ayano Koji tries to play dumb, Koenji implies that he understood the amount of power Ayano Koji possesses when he touched Koenji. Koenji also mentions that he has no intention of revealing his secret. Nonetheless, Koenji states that he will do as he pleases. After Ayano Koji brings Asahina's missing phone accessory, Asahina thanks him. After that, Asahina informs Ayano Koji that Nagumo is interested in him. In response, Ayano Koji implies that he is a nobody. He also asks how he can stop Nagumo from paying attention to him. Asahina jokingly suggests beating Nagumo. To her surprise, Ayano Koji agrees that might be an option. Meanwhile, Asahina starts laughing as she believes nobody can defeat Nagumo. By the way, unlike other second-year students, Asahina doesn't follow Nagumo blindly. As a token of appreciation, Asahina gives Ayano Koji some valuable information. After a while, some members of Group 6 start discussing their pasts. Yukimura breaks down while discussing his past. Surprisingly, Ishizaki indirectly thanks Yukimura for taking on the role of their group representative. After a while, Kei passes Ayano Koji a note while passing by each other. After that, Ayano Koji finds Tachibana crying all alone. After a while, Ayano Koji spots Hashimoto, Ruin, and Manabu talking to each other. As the final exam for the mixed training camp, they have to run a long-distance relay. The final exam begins. All of them start running. Yukimura manages to give the baton to Ayano Koji. Ayano Koji then gives the baton to Koenji as the last runner. After a while, the teacher announces the result of the mixed training camp. He mentions that nobody will be expelled from the boys' group as all the groups scored above the borderline. Manabu's group gets the first place. But surprisingly, Nagumo congratulates Manabu. Needless to say, Manabu is taken aback. The teacher then announces that one of the girls' groups failed to reach the borderline. That group is Tachibana's group. By the way, Ikari, who is Nagumo's underling, is the leader of Tachibana's group. Nagumo immediately starts to laugh. By the way, if a group loses, the leader of that very group gets to choose one member who will be expelled. Ikari immediately points towards Tachibana. 
Ayano Koji states that Nagumo wasn't after the first place in this exam. He was after Tachibana, who is a close ally of Manabu. Meanwhile, Nagumo continues to mock Manabu and Tachibana. But to Nagumo's surprise, Manabu decides to use his class's points to save Tachibana from getting expelled. I'm waiting for that day when Ayano Koji will destroy Nagumo. Sakayanagi visits the student council to meet with Nagumo. Sakayanagi implies she wants to discuss something related to Ichinose. She then reveals to Nagumo that she will be mounting an attack against Ichinose. She then mentions in the worst case scenario, Ichinose will be expelled. She also apologizes for the same. Nagumo immediately states that Ichinose is his personal property that he plans to cherish. Nonetheless, Sakayanagi still plans to destroy Ichinose. While everyone is discussing the breakup of Kei and Hirata, Sakayanagi comes to Class C and asks for Yamauchi. She then tells Yamauchi that she wants to talk to him. Needless to say, Yamauchi immediately starts to believe that Sakayanagi wants to confess. But in reality, she might use Yamauchi as her pawn. Horikita warns Yamauchi that this is a trap, but Yamauchi's confidence has skyrocketed. This leads him to call himself the lethal weapon of Class C. After a while, Michan meets with Ayanokoji. She then expresses to learn more about Hirata. Well, she has feelings for Hirata, but Ayanokoji advises her to take it slow. Then, we finally get to see Hiyori again. Hiyori then sits beside Ayanokoji, and they discuss a few things. Later on, Horikita meets with Ayanokoji. By the way, she wanted to discuss Ichinose's situation. Well, Sakayanagi already started spreading rumors about Ichinose to hurt her reputation. Horikita decides to help Ichinose, but Ayano Koji suggests that they should stand by and stay out of it for now. Horikita calls Ayano Koji and Ichinose for a meeting. During their conversation, Ichinose advises them not to get involved with her situation. Well, she suspects that if Ayano Koji and Horikita try to help her, they might also become Sakayanagi's targets. The next morning, Ayano Koji learns that the rumors are spreading like wildfire. The rumors state that Ichinose is a criminal. Meanwhile, Ichinose still refuses to take any solid action as she wants to avoid trouble. After a while, Masumi, a student from Class A, and one of Sakayanagi's underlings comes to Ayano Koji's apartment. During their conversation, Masumi tells Ayano Koji that Ichinose has a secret. She also implies that she will tell him what secret Ichinose is hiding. But before that, Masumi reveals why she is being pushed around by Sakayanagi. Well, Sakayanagi caught Masumi shoplifting. Thus, Sakayanagi has been using that incident to blackmail her and use her as a pawn. She informs Ayano Koji that she used to be a habitual shoplifter. She also reveals that Ichinose is also a shoplifter. Masumi then requests Ayano Koji to stop Sakayanagi. Well, she believes Ayano Koji is capable enough to stop her. But Ayano Koji refuses to cooperate. Thus, Masumi steals an alcoholic beverage again to prove her point. By the way, it is too early to say whether Ayano Koji will help Masumi or not. After a while, Manabu calls Ayano Koji to inform him that Kushida is working with Nagumo. What do you think? Will Ayano Koji step into the game and stop Sakayanagi? Sudo asks Ayano Koji if he got any chocolate or not. Well, it is Valentine's Day after all, but Ayano Koji implies that he hasn't gotten any chocolates from anyone, especially Horikita. Meanwhile, Hirata has already received lots of chocolate. <laughs> After school, we can see Ayano Koji going to meet up with Kei. At the same time, we can see Hashimoto keeping an eye on Ayano Koji. It turns out Hashimoto heard the conversation between Manabu and Nagumo during the mixed training camp. In that conversation, Nagumo implies that not a single student in this school can read his thoughts. Not even Manabu's favorite student, Ayano Koji Kiyotaka. Ayano Koji Kiyotaka. <laughs> Are you sure about that? Thus, that conversation led Hashimoto to believe that Ayano Koji might be hiding his true self and true powers. After a while, Hashimoto spots Ayano Koji meeting Kei. Hashimoto starts to wonder what kind of relationship they have, but then Kei gives Ayano Koji Valentine's chocolate. After a while, Hashimoto shows himself to both of them. 
Hashimoto then questions them about whether they are dating or not. After some back and forth, Kei tells Hashimoto that Ayano Koji is acting like a middleman, and he will give the chocolate to the person Kei actually likes. After that, Hashimoto acts aggressively towards Kei and asks her out. By the way, Hashimoto was probably trying to provoke Ayano Koji, but Ayano Koji decides to leave. After a while, strange rumors such as Ayano Koji having a crush on Kei, Hondo's weird taste, etc., start to circulate. Sakayanagi finally decides to confront Ichinose and expose her, so she comes to Class B. Meanwhile, Ayano Koji also appears on the scene. She implies that she wants to save Class B from the grip of Ichinose. She then explains that they shouldn't be trusting Ichinose with their private points. She raises the question, what if the rumors about Ichinose are true and she is actually a criminal? Ichinose's classmates immediately dismiss these rumors. However, she reveals that she has clear evidence that will prove the rumors about Ichinose. Sakayanagi then directly asks Ichinose whether she is a criminal or not. To everyone's surprise, Ichinose finally tells everyone the truth about the rumors. She admits that she had indeed committed a crime. She reveals that her family wasn't very rich. Ichinose and her sister were raised by their single mother. Although they weren't rich, they somehow managed to get by. But one day, her mother collapsed due to overwork. Well, she wanted to buy an expensive hair clip for Ichinose's sister. Ichinose's mother even apologized to her sister for being unable to give her that hair clip. Thus, Ichinose decides to buy that hair clip at any cost, but she didn't have any money. With no other choice, she decides to steal it and give it to her sister. But her mother finds out that she stole the hair clip and decides to return it. The shop owner also didn't press charges against her. Thus, she apologizes to everyone. Then, she asks her classmates if they will still follow her, and they immediately agree to do so. Sakayanagi realizes that she has lost this round. Then, Nagumo enters the room with a few teachers. Nagumo, alongside the teachers, states that spreading rumors is prohibited, and they will be punished if they continue to spread rumors. Well, Ayano Koji already made his move, and the outcome is according to his plan. On the surface, it might seem like Sakayanagi has lost. However, she actually got what she wanted by involving Ayano Koji in this incident. After the confrontation between Ichinose and Sakayanagi, Sakayanagi meets with Ayano Koji. She speculates that Ichinose has already confessed her past to Ayano Koji. Thus, Ayano Koji reveals that he visited Ichinose the previous day. He then confronted Ichinose about her past and the crime she committed. She broke down and started crying. However, Ayano Koji somehow managed to help her overcome the guilt she was feeling due to her careless action. As a result, she managed to move on and face Sakayanagi head-on. Additionally, Ayano Koji also used Vice President Kiriyama to get the student council involved to help Ichinose. Ayano Koji then implies that he knows Sakayanagi used Kamuro to make him take action. At first, Sakayanagi tries to play dumb, but then Ayano Koji points out Kamuro's mistake. Well, Kamuro gave Ayano Koji the same alcohol can that she stole on her first day at the school. Ayano Koji then asks Sakayanagi why she got him involved with Ichinose's situation. Sakayanagi reveals that she wanted to get Ayano Koji's attention. Sakayanagi then challenges Ayano Koji to have a contest with her. As a result, Sakayanagi bets her own expulsion to get Ayano Koji interested. She also mentions that she will be expelled if she loses. She also clarifies that Ayano Koji will not be expelled, even if he loses. However, Sakayanagi will expose him as the mastermind of Class C. After meeting Sakayanagi, Ayano Koji goes to meet up with Kushida. It turns out that Ayano Koji actually obtained some valuable information from Kushida that helped him make a deal with Kiriyama and save Ichinose. Of course, Kushida wouldn't have provided that kind of information for free. Thus, Ayano Koji pays for that information. Ayano Koji also assures her that he will continue to transfer half of the received points. Meanwhile, Kushida implies that she would not antagonize Ayano Koji if she continues to receive his points. Someone please tell her that she has no idea who she is dealing with. Meanwhile, Ayano Koji implies that saving Ichinose and getting involved with Sakayanagi were just part of the process. His main goal was to learn about the quantity and quality of information Kushida possessed so that he can get her expelled. Since nobody was expelled even after the end-of-year final exam, the school decided to conduct a special exam called the class poll. 
The rules of the class poll exam are as follows. Students will evaluate their classmates, and each student will also be able to select students worthy of praise. In other words, there will be two types of evaluations, praise and criticism. The student with the most praises will receive a special reward called protection points, while the students with the most criticisms will be expelled. Needless to say, someone will definitely get expelled. Meanwhile, Yamauchi, aka Yamagod, starts freaking out. Well, it is quite obvious that Yamauchi has the worst reputation in Class C. Ayano Koji also states that Sakayanagi's father, the board chairman, doesn't seem like a person who would arrange such an outrageous exam. By the way, students cannot vote for themselves, and multiple votes for the same person will be marked as blank. Each class will be asked to vote for students outside of their own class. <laughs> After a while, Ayanokoji and Horikita go to meet with Ruin. Horikita believes Ruin will be expelled due to his reputation. By the way, Horikita wanted to get Ruin's advice on how to deal with the class poll exam and avoid expulsion. Ruin then implies that Horikita can never be like him. Well, Ruin believes that only he and Sakayanagi can use their classmates as pawns. Meanwhile, Ayanokoji is using both Sakayanagi and Ruin as his pawns, or tools to be precise. In other words, Ruin can get out of the situation if he wants. However, he will silently accept expulsion instead of using his pawns. Furthermore, Ayanokoji states that he doesn't want Ruin to get expelled. After all, Ruin is a valuable pawn for Ayanokoji. While on his way to school, Ayanokoji encounters Ichinose. Ichinose insists on walking with him to school, and Ayanokoji obliges. Ayanokoji then asks how she intends to deal with the class poll. Ichinose implies that this is the most difficult exam so far. Well, Ichinose doesn't want anyone from her class to get expelled. Thus, she implies that she has to come up with a plan. Ichinose also informs Ayanokoji that she might use their praise votes on him. It turns out Ichinose has already made a deal with the student council president, Nagumo. Nagumo told Ichinose that he would give her a large amount of private points so that she can save her classmate who will be expelled after the class poll. In exchange, Ichinose would have to date Nagumo. As soon as Horikita enters the classroom, she realizes that something has changed. Ayanokoji also agrees with her. Judging by the sudden change in the classroom, Ayanokoji speculates that a group of people have come together to expel someone. After a while, Kei calls Ayanokoji and informs him that everyone is preparing to vote against him and then expel him. In other words, someone is convincing others to vote against Ayanokoji. After that, Ayanokoji goes to meet with Kushida to get more information about the mastermind. Ayanokoji asks if she can give him the name of the mastermind who is trying to expel him. But Kushida implies that she can't reveal the identity of the mastermind. Ayanokoji immediately states that the mastermind already consulted with her about the votes against him. Kushida then implies that she cannot betray someone who has placed their trust in her. So Ayanokoji gives up and decides to leave. But then Kushida reveals that the mastermind is Yamauchi. But Ayanokoji immediately points out that he knows that the real mastermind is Sakayanagi. As a result, Kushida's expression immediately changes. Well, Kushida thinks Sakayanagi is dangerous, and she doesn't mess with her. Who would tell her that Sakayanagi is nothing compared to Ayanokoji? Ayanokoji then calls Manabu to inform him about the situation. Horikata goes to meet with her brother. Then, she asks Manabu for some advice on how to deal with the class poll exam. During their conversation, Horikata tells Manabu that she has been chasing him her whole life. But Manabu asks her what she thinks about Ayanokoji. In response, Horikita tells him that Ayanokoji is someone she wants to catch up to and surpass someday. But Manabu gives Horikita a reality check. He implies that she is never going to catch up to Ayanokoji. Manabu then advises her to grow in her own way. Manabu also gives her some advice. By advice, I meant that he reveals Yamauchi is conspiring with others to vote against Ayanokoji and expel him. Meanwhile, Ayanokoji states that Yamauchi's strategy was not that bad. However, Yamauchi took Sakayanagi's advice and went after the wrong person. Thus, Horikita gets the attention of the whole class. 
Horikita then calls out Yamagod for being so relaxed despite the sign of expulsion hovering over his head. Horikita then addresses the class. She tells the class that she has made up her mind. She implies that she would like to expel someone. She then reveals the name of the person who should be expelled. Yamauchi Haruki -kun. Horikita confronts Yamauchi, and she tells Yamauchi that his contribution to the class has been extremely low. In his defense, he tries his best to convince Horikita that he is better than his classmates. He even compares himself to Koenji. He implies that he is far better than Koenji. Did he really just do that? Well, it is Yamagod after all. But she then reveals the real reason as to why she wants to expel Yamagod. She tells everyone that Yamauchi has been collecting votes against Ayanokoji to expel him. As usual, Yamauchi immediately denies those accusations. He then tries to blame Kanji for collecting votes against Ayanokoji. Kanji then points towards Kushida. He implies that Kushida was the one who got Kanji entangled in this mess. Then, Yamauchi tries to put the blame on Kushida. In order to maintain her fake persona, Kushida starts her melodrama, and eventually, the blame comes back on Yamauchi. Meanwhile, Horikita grills Kushida for such an action. By the way, Kushida will soon realize that she messed with the wrong opponent. In other words, Ayanokoji will get his revenge on Kushida in the second year. Horikita then utterly exposes Yamauchi. She implies that Yamauchi has been conspiring with Class A, or Sakayanagi to be precise. He is also working under her orders. Needless to say, everyone is surprised by the sudden turns of events. Horikita also reveals Yamauchi is following Sakayanagi's orders with the hope of dating her one day. Yamauchi is truly the god of the black room. Horikita exposes Yamauchi, and she reveals how he was collecting votes against Ayano Koji. On top of that, he was conspiring with Sakayanagi. So Horikita asks everyone to vote against Yamauchi. However, the class refuses to give a clear answer. Well, it is probably mainly due to Hirata's influence. Hirata opposes Horikita's decision. By the way, Hirata also snaps in the episode. Horikita. He becomes like a different person, and his attitude changes drastically. Finally, the day of the announcement arrives. <laughs> to everyone's surprise, Yamagod arrogantly brags about how Sakayanagi is going to use all of Class A's praise votes on him. Thus, even if his class votes against him, he will not get expelled. Yamagod believes he is protected by Class A. However, as a wise man said, Reality is often disappointing. Nonetheless, Yamagod maintains his arrogant attitude. Then, Chabashira finally starts announcing the results. She gives the list of the top three candidates for the praise votes. In the third position, we have Kushida. Then for the second, we have Harada. Well, you already know who is in the first position. Needless to say, the whole class is beyond surprised. Meanwhile, Yamagod immediately starts to panic. Needless to say, Horikita is also surprised. Then Chabashira drops the bomb and reveals the name of the student who will be expelled, and that is none other than Yamagod. Yamauchi immediately starts having a mental breakdown. He then tells Chabashira to ask Sakayanagi. By the way, Sakayanagi played the Uno reverse card against Yamagod, but Chabashira asks him to get out of the classroom. Koenji then calls Yamauchi pitiful. In response, Yamauchi tries to attack him with a chair but it backfires. <laughs> then, Chabashira escorts him out of the classroom. Thus, Ayanokoji utterly destroys Yamauchi. After expelling Yamauchi, Ayanokoji goes to meet with Ruin. Ruin asks Ayanokoji, when did you become a good guy? He then asks why Ayanokoji saved him from getting expelled. In response, Ayanokoji reveals that the ones who saved him were his underlings. In other words, Ibuki and Ishizaki. It turns out that a few days before the result, Ibuki and Ishizaki went to Ayanokoji, asking for help. They requested Ayanokoji to help them save Ruin from expulsion. As a solution, Ayanokoji suggested collecting Ruin's private points and using them to save him. Thus, Ibuki collects Ruin's private points. By the way, Ruin had almost 5 million points. Since Ayanokoji was made aware of Nagumo's offer to Ichinose, Ayanokoji decides to call Ichinose and help her out. Nagumo also offered almost 5 million points, but in exchange, she has to date Nagumo. For context, Ichinose already had 15 million points. 
and only needed an additional $5 million to save her classmate from expulsion. Ayana Koji decides to give Ruins $5 million private points to Ichinose, and in exchange, she would tell everyone in Class B to submit praise votes for Ruin. In this way, both parties win. Thus, Ayana Koji saves Ruin and wrecks Nagumo's plan. Ayano Koji goes to meet with Sakayanagi. Sakayanagi speculates that the special exam was designed just to expel Ayano Koji. Sakayanagi also implies that she used Class A's praise votes to protect Ayano Koji. Ayano Koji then asks why Sakayanagi went after Yamauchi. In response, Sakayanagi recalls the incident where Yamauchi dropped her. Thus, she got her revenge. As they are talking, Tsukishiro greets both of them. He introduces himself as the acting director of the school. As soon as he starts walking towards them, Sakayanagi tries to mock Tsukishiro, but things backfire very quickly. Tsukishiro kicks Sakayanagi's cane and drops her. Then he goes after Ayano Koji and starts to choke him. <laughs> Sakayanagi then suggests that the acting director getting violent with a student can cause problems. In response, Tsukishiro implies that the surveillance cameras have been changed to show dummy footage. Then, Tsukishiro conveys a message from Ayano Koji's father, stating, I don't have time to play your childish games. Come home at once. Tsukishiro also implies that Ayano Koji should blink twice if he wants to leave the school voluntarily. But Ayano Koji refuses. Thus, Tsukishiro leaves with a warning to Ayano Koji that he will officially start working in April. Meanwhile, Sakayanagi believes that Ayano Koji made a wise decision by not fighting back. However, Ayano Koji implies that he didn't fight back because he doesn't know how Tsukishiro might use the footage. Ayano Koji finally decides to engage in a face-to-face -face competition with Sakayanagi. After a while, Chabashira informs everyone about the final special exam, also known as the events selection exam. The guidelines for this exam are quite extensive, so I'll provide a brief summary. Each class will compete against the others. Each class is required to select 10 well-known events, each with a set time limit. They must designate five official events that they genuinely wish to compete in, and five fake-outs intended to mislead the opposing class. Paired classes will compete in seven randomly selected official events, and each class must appoint a commander responsible for managing everything. By the way, if the class loses, then the commander will be expelled. Thus, Ayano Koji decides to become the commander. Well, he wanted to clear his name following the Yamauchi incident. On top of that, he has protection points, so he will not be expelled even if his class loses. After that, a meeting between the commanders takes place. The holders of protection points from each class decided to become the commanders for their respective classes. From class A, we have Sakayanagi. From class B, we have Ichinose. From class C, we have our boy, Ayano Koji. From Class D, we have Satoru. No, no, not that Satoru. After winning the lucky draw, Class D decides to face Class B. Thus, Class C will face Class A. In other words, Ayano Koji will face Sakayanagi. By the way, Ayano Koji had already made his move. It turns out that before the meeting, Ayano Koji had already made some arrangements with Ichinose and Ishizaki, so that Class C could face Class A. Thus, according to Ayano Koji's plan, Class C would face Class A. After a while, Class C gets the list of events that Class A submitted. Among those events, Class C also has to face Class A in chess. Meanwhile, Ayano Koji states that in chess, a battle between commanders is possible through intervention. Ayano Koji finally decides to confront Hirata in order to convince him to join their class in the upcoming exam. Ayano Koji states that Hirata has been dragging the Yamauchi incident for too long. As a result, he doesn't even cooperate with the class. Ayano Koji tells Hirata that he wants to know why he is behaving like that. Hirata tries to keep quiet. Hanasa. As Ayano Koji begins to show his real nature, Hirata immediately realizes that he isn't dealing with the easygoing Ayano Koji. Thus, Hirata reveals his past to Ayano Koji. Well, in middle school, one of Hirata's friends became a target of bullying. He tried to help him, but he was afraid of becoming a target of those bullies, so he decides to stay away from this matter. However, one day, his friend tried to unalive himself. He was saved, but he never recovered, and he is still in a coma. Thus, Hirata blames himself for this tragic incident. Meanwhile, Ayanokoji tries to convince Hirata that it wasn't solely his fault. By the way, 
Those bullies were Hirata's classmates. Hirata then reveals that even after that incident, those bullies found a new target for their bullying. On top of that, his other classmates also began to join in to bully others. At that point, Hirata knew he had to take action. Therefore, Hirata tried to control all of his classmates through fear. Hirata used violence to control his classmates. He created a hierarchy with him on the top and everyone else at the bottom. If any conflict came up, he would punish both sides. As a result, everyone became emotionless robots. That's why Hirata couldn't tolerate Yamauchi being singled out in their class. Surprisingly, Ayana Koji blames Hirata for Yamauchi's expulsion. In response, Hirata states that he tried everything, but he couldn't save Yamauchi. Ayano Koji starts to grill Hirata. He also criticizes Hirata's naive belief that everyone can be saved. Ayano Koji goes on to say that he had misjudged Hirata. He had thought of him as a respectable person, but that's not the case. Ayano Koji labels Hirata as a superficial and helpless student who boasts about wanting to do the impossible. After hearing those harsh words, Hirata questions if that's Ayano Koji's true nature. Thus, Ayano Koji completely breaks Hirata. Ayano Koji encourages that if Hirata wants to save everyone, then he needs to fight for that cause till the end. He also mentions that even after that, if somebody gets expelled, Hirata must accept it and continue to work forward. He further adds that Hirata will lose more of his classmates if he continues to hesitate like that. Ayano Koji also suggests that Hirata should ask his classmates for help when he is struggling. At last, Ayano Koji assures him that he should be able to lead everyone now. Hirata thanks Ayano Koji for giving his confidence back. The next day, Hirata apologizes to everyone. The showdown between Sakayanagi and Ayano Koji begins as Class A and Class C clash. The first event between the two classes is a basketball match. As the commander, Ayano Koji intervenes and replaces Ryotaro with Sudo. Initially, Class A, especially Hayato Kido, seems to overwhelm Class C in their basketball match. Sudo also realizes that Hayato is experienced in basketball. He was taking it lightly before Sudo entered. Hayato then calls Sudo weak. Meanwhile, Sakayanagi believes that they will win if they are able to shake Sudo mentally. In response, Ayano Koji states that that's how Sudo usually plays. Thus, Sudo manages to outplay Class A and continues to score for Class C. As a result, Class C wins. Then, a typing speed test takes place and Class C manages to win. After that, an English quiz takes place and Class A wins. For the mathematics quiz, Class A also takes the victory. An archery competition also takes place and Class C wins. After that, a flash mental arithmetic test takes place. By the way, for this test, Ayano Koji nominates Koenji. But during the test, as usual, Koenji doesn't take the test seriously. However, Koenji was the first one to give the correct answer. Since Koenji didn't participate, Class A wins. For context, now both classes have three wins and three losses. The next round will decide who wins. Thus, Mashima Sensei announces that the final round will be a chess battle between Class A and Class C. Thus, both Ayano Koji and Sakayanagi get ready for the upcoming chess battle. Sakayanagi expresses happiness as the final round is revealed to be chess. The chess battle begins as Hashimoto and Horikita face each other. Initially, both Hashimoto and Horikita play chess as normal people would, But then, Sakayanagi decides to intervene. Meanwhile, Ayano Koji decides to stay put. As Sakayanagi uses Hashimoto to make exceptional moves, Horikita realizes the difference in their abilities. Please note that I will not be covering the chess moves made by Ayano Koji and Sakayanagi. If you want to watch the chess battle being explained, I will provide a video link in the description. After a while, Ayano Koji finally decides to help Horikita. As Ayano Koji and Sakayanagi play chess, both Horikita and Hashimoto struggle to keep up with their moves. Sakayanagi then makes a critical move. In response, Ayano Koji also makes an excellent move. As a result, Sakayanagi admits that Ayano Koji is the most impressive. Then, Sakayanagi makes yet another great move, leading her to believe that she has won. But Ayano Koji still had an ace up his sleeve, Thus, he makes an impossible move. However, things didn't go as planned. 
Ayana Koji notices something weird while making his last move. Sakayanagi makes her moves and checkmates Ayana Koji. Thus, Class A wins. Afterwards, Sakayanagi asks Ayano Koji if he had made calculations before his last move. But then, Tsukishiro interrupts their conversation. Tsukishiro reveals that normally Ayano Koji would have won the match if he hadn't interfered. In other words, Tsukishiro tampered with Ayano Koji's instructions to Horikita to make him lose. After a while, Sakayanagi again challenges Ayano Koji to a chess battle. Needless to say, Ayano Koji easily defeats Sakayanagi. Thus, Sakayanagi admits her defeat. After their battle, Sakayanagi unexpectedly shows her softer side to Ayano Koji. She tells him that she wanted to stand beside him, even if it was just for a moment. After meeting with Hiyori, Ayano Koji spots Ichinose standing in the rain. Thus, Ayano Koji takes Ichinose to his room. Ichinose implies that she doesn't want to rely too much on Ayano Koji. In response, Ayano Koji questions if she doesn't trust him. But Ichinose states that she trusts Ayano Koji more than anyone else. She then reveals that all of the class leaders have gotten stronger, and she is scared that she won't be able to win down the road. To lift her spirit, Ayano Koji asks Ichinose to meet with him after exactly one year. He also tells Ichinose to promise him that she will go through the next year without hesitation and meet Ayano Koji again. Although Ichinose shows some hesitation, Ayano Koji implies that he will tell her what he wanted to say when they meet again. Thus, Ichinose makes a promise to Ayano Koji. Ichinose also assures Ayano Koji that she will continue to fight. Meanwhile, Ayano Koji starts to wonder about the future. He then states that if Ichinose really had to fall, he would be the one to finish her off. Following his encounter with Ichinose, Ayano Koji goes to meet with Ruin. Well, Ayano Koji used Hiyori to send a message to Ruin, thus leading to their meetup. By the way, the message says, I could have done it better. In other words, Ayano Koji tries to taunt Ruin by saying that his tactics against Class B were pathetic. Ayano Koji also implies that he would be lonely if Ruin gets expelled after doing something reckless. Ruin then brings up Ayano Koji's defeat against Sakayanagi, but he also states that there is no way Ayano Koji would be weaker than Sakayanagi, since Ayano Koji easily defeated Ruin before. Then Ruin declares that he will crush Ichinose and Sakayanagi first, and then he will expel Ayano Koji. <laughs> then he tries to catch Ayano Koji off guard, but Ayano Koji easily evades his attack. He also warns Ruin against using the cheap tactics that he used against Class B. Well, if someone managed to get evidence, Ruin would have been expelled. Ayano Koji also implies that Ruin wouldn't get a rematch with him if he continues to use those dirty tricks. Ruin declares that he will crush Ayano Koji someday. Tsukishiro invites Ayano Koji to meet with him. He then asks Ayano Koji if he would consider returning to his father after this spring break. Unsurprisingly, Ayano Koji declines Tsukishiro's offer. As a result, Tsukishiro attempts to threaten Ayano Koji. But then, out of nowhere, Tsukishiro suggests playing a game. He reveals that a student from the White Room will be added to the incoming class. If Ayano Koji manages to identify which student it is by the end of April, Tsukishiro promises to withdraw. He believes that the student from the White Room will be able to defeat Ayano Koji. Ayano Koji accepts the challenge, but Ayano Koji confidently declares that there is no one from the White Room who is better than him. Horikita calls Ayano Koji and asks if he would be willing to unleash his full ability. Well, they are aiming for Class A, and Horikita knows that it wouldn't be possible without Ayano Koji showing his true capabilities. However, Ayano Koji refuses to go all out. Well, he believes that there is no one in their class here who can compete with him. Thus, Horikita suggests putting their abilities to the test. She implies that they will compete in their second-year written exams. Whoever gets the highest score wins. Thus, both of them present their conditions. If Horikita wins, then Ayano Koji has to unleash his true power and help them reach Class A. On the other hand, if Ayano Koji wins, Horikita needs to join the student council. I love how Horikita still believes that she has a chance against Ayano Koji. Ayano Koji calls Kei to his room. Initially, Kei is angry at Ayano Koji. Well, she had spotted Ayano Koji with Hiyori earlier, which made her jealous. They both reveal to each other that people have been asking about the nature of their relationship. Kei implies that she can't have those kinds of rumors being spread. Well, she wants to show people that she is single and open to dating. 
she also expresses anger over the fact that Ayana Koji is close with Hiyori. Just as Kei is about to leave, Ayana Koji finally asks her out. Tsukiyouka. Initially, Kei is confused, but then Ayana Koji reveals that he used Hiyori to see whether Kei would get jealous or not. Ayana Koji also states he is asking her out to prevent her from becoming someone else's girlfriend. Thus, Ayana Koji again tells her that he likes her. <laughs> After some back and forth, Kei finally agrees to date him. Kei also states she likes him. Thus, Ayana Koji pulls Kei closer. Meanwhile, Kei thinks Ayana Koji is going to kiss her. <laughs> Thus, they share a long hug. Meanwhile, as usual, Ayana Koji states that this romance is necessary for Kei's growth. On the other hand, Ayana Koji states that he will use Kei to learn about romance too. He also implies that he might ditch Kei after learning about romance, or maybe he will find something meaningful. 